At five o'clock, investigators call it organized crime led by a kingpin. But what would or who would ever guess it involves Texas teachers? Yeah, you wouldn't think that, right? Dozens of local educators, though, are accused of driving to Houston. They are accused of paying someone else to take their certification test for them and then coming right on back to teach your students right here. Parents have questions, reasonably so. Our Andrea Lucia, we're going to get you answers. Yeah, usually it's the students you worry might be cheating. In this case, it is the teachers. The Texas Education Agency has identified just over 100 so far that they are investigating. And nearly half of them are from here in North Texas. The teachers on the list are identified as either current or recent employees of 21 different school districts in our area. The biggest numbers are linked to Dallas ISD with nine, Duncanville ISD with eight, and Fort Worth ISD with five. The Harris County DA has criminally charged five educators in Houston for running this operation. They include an assistant principal. Prosecutors say took more than 400 certification tests on behalf of others, as well as two proctors giving this test who were paid to look the other way. The DA's office in an October press conference said teachers were showing up in Houston from all over the state and paid more than a million dollars combined to get a passing grade. Often these people had previously failed one or more attempts at the certification exam. They then drove sometimes four or more hours to the Houston area and suddenly they were passing the test with flying colors. We don't know if the teachers are under any kind of criminal investigation, but the TEA could revoke their licenses. When you look them up on the agency's website, their certifications still appear as valid, but are flagged. I've highlighted it there as under review by the TEA Educator Investigations Division. Yeah, we reached out to all of the districts in our area that appear on that TEA list. In some cases, they say these teachers are uh, not current employees anymore, uh, but pretty much all of them said they're taking this seriously and cooperating with the TEA. Let's talk about the numbers for just a moment here. So the DA's office speaks about one of their suspects taking 400 tests, one taking 400, mm -hmm. mind blow. Uh, but how many teachers do they think may have cheated? I mean, certainly more than the 100 they've identified so far. The TEA has said that this list they put out is just the, quote, first batch of ed educators. It's flagged. It fully expects to open even more investigations. And while it hasn't given a solid number, the DA's office in Harris County told us it knows of at least 200 certifications that were granted through this scheme. All right, one more question that might be the first one that comes to your mind, actually, is what's the current employment status for the teachers? Are they still allowed to teach in the classroom? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to know just that. Richardson ISD did say it has put the two teachers from its district uh, that appear on that list on administrative leave pending the results of this investigation. Others we asked, though, didn't respond to that question. Interesting, interesting. Dot, so, dot, dot. <laughs> at, least, at least one move by one school. Mm -hmm. Andrea, thank you very much. Eye-opening, to say the least.